Below this time, we're going to make a sparkling particle using the Niagara system. First, create a material. Next, change blend mode to translucent to create objects that require some form of transparency. And create a particle color node to set the color of the particles, and a dynamic parameter node to set the intensity of the emissive color in the Niagara system. Then, set the name of the dynamic parameter, as shown in the video, and connect it to the particle color node using the multiply node. Next, create a diamond gradient node to create a diamond shaped gradient. Then left mouse button click while holding down one on the keyboard to create a component node. And set the value to about 10 and connect it with the diamond gradient node to give contrast to the diamond gradient. Connect the power node to make the diamond shape a little more obvious. And by using the multiply node, you can adjust the opacity of the particle by connecting it to the alpha value of the particle color. When done, save and return to the content drawer. Next, create the Niagara system after adding the fountain emitter. Set up the material you just created in the sprite renderer. Then, in properties, change to GPU to accommodate a large amount of particles. and set local space to fix the overall location where particles are spawned. Adjust the spawn rate slightly higher. Create a dynamic material parameter in particle update and set the value. Set the sprite size and initialize particle. Change the shape location to box so that particles are created in the box shape range. Reduce speed value and add velocity. As the velocity's speed decreases, the particles begin to fall due to the effect of the gravity force. Remove the gravity force. Go back to initialize particle and set the sprite rotation mode to unset to fix the sprite's rotation. In Scale Color, set Scale RGB to Linear Color, then add Random Range Linear Color and set Minimum and Maximum Colors. The colors of the particles appear within the set color range. Finally, add Scale Sprite Size to express the sparkle of the particles. And set the curve as shown in the video. When done, save and return to the content drawer. Now place the Niagara in the right place in the level and see if the particles come out well.